but it was like that back of the throat, like scratch itch all day. And then now I got home and it's like getting to be that build up that slight, like, like I'm a little, little, little bit warm. And then like, you got that slight, like head cold feeling. Ugh. And you're like, let me vape and drink beer and it should be good. Yeah. And I haven't eaten today. It's just, we're doing big things here. Spectacular. It's healthy living 101. Okay, episode 15. Welcome back, everybody, to the Poor Choices Show. I'm your host, Chris, as always, with my co host, David. That was sounded like a question. Do what? We got a question. So that sounded like it was a question. David? It is David. Here? And coincidentally, uh, 15 is the maximum age that uh, one of our other friends, Chris, will. <laughs> Talk we'll, about we'll, leave, we'll leave it at that. A poor choice. A bridge keeps a bridge full of that. Not more. <laughs> Fuck. You said 15 and age. I was like, uh, what? Where, where are you going with us? <laughs> the only place that we can go. Mm-hmm. To Rhodes House. Rhodes House. <laughs> Rhodes House. Rhodes House. That's a, so there was a, I don't know what I was watching. It was some drinking game. And it was like, if you can't answer or if you answer wrong or something, you got to drink or something like that. And one of the dudes, he asked, um, you have to have sex with two people with the combined age of 30 what ages are you picking? And I was like, uh, <laughs> and the dude was like, I'm just going to drink. <laughs> I saw that. Do you remember that one time? I can't remember. I don't know if you got it for me. Someone got it, but it's called like do or drink. And you have to do what the card yeah. says or drink. I just like randomly pulled one out and it was like, uh, go piss in the sink or take two shots. And I'm oh. like, uh, do a normal day in the life or take yeah, two well, shots. Yeah. But uh, if like, you know, if you're at like someone else's house, it's I guess it's a little different than like being out at the bar. Yeah. So David and I, for a long years, we would just send each other snaps if we weren't together out at a bar um, of just the stream. No, no cock and image, just the stream um, into the sink and or when we were feeling real frisky. <laughs> it's kind of a shitty thing to talk about, but into a trash can or like, <laughs> you know, the little bin yeah. next to the toilet. Yeah. That's all right. We we'd be a little racy, and it wasn't even if we weren't together. You'd be you'd be sitting out at the table or at the bar, and I'd go to the bathroom and I'd be like, "Ha!" ha, ha. Yeah, get the snap. I open up. It's like, yeah, oh, there's no one in the bathroom, but he chose the sink anyways. Because <laughs> <laughs> it started with like, "Damn, I got to piss really bad, and this place is full." You know what? I'm just sinking it. And then did I ever was... did I ever tell you about the time I went to ah oh, fuck what was it Armadillos I think downtown Annapolis? You been there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very like like narrow, right? And then like in the super back narrow. left is, it, and then like yeah. Before the bar, you can like hang a left, and it's like a little nook, and that's where the bathroom is. Right, right, right. So I'm waiting to go to the bathroom, or I don't know if I was waiting to go to the bathroom, or if I was just at the bar drinking, and this dude comes up, and he's like, "Fuck, man, I got to piss." I'm like, "I think someone's in there, bro." He's like, "Man, did 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 they just go in? Like, do you know if they're about to come out?" And I was like, "Dude, I have no idea." I was like, "You could use this though," and I like grabbed a a fucking one of them big like tin shaker cups off the bar like jokingly like here pissing this thing yeah and he was like okay cool All right. and he like <laughs> he like turned in the corner and he's and he's fucking pissing and he's like oh dude oh oh fuck i'm about to fill it up grab me another grab me another so i like, had to like reach and grab him another and he handed me his and i handed him the new yeah. one just fucking set it on the bar and he walked away he was like Classic. all right cool thanks man like in the thanks, middle man. of the fucking packed bar on a friday night Yep, like, and your next uh, mixed drink is now ammoniafied with. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's how COVID started. Just you know, was like <laughs> Piss, pissing in a shaker cup. Yeah, that was <laughs> just took a Apple while. Apple Maryland manifest. Ground Zero, and David's like, "Oh, I think that was me. Mm. <laughs> My bad, no, guys. It's not me. I, Sorry. I, uh, I was an accessory after the fact. But accessory to I didn't, pandemic. I didn't commit the crime. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Well, why don't we dive into some. For... Yeah. Anyone that, yeah. Yeah. So, if so you were, back to drinking not piss, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I was what? What were you going to say? We get to I was that. I say, 
we apologize to anyone in armadillos in the years 2008 would have been, 2012 yeah sorry. probably around the the 2010 ish if you were there yeah, on a friday night 2010 you uh might have had a piss cocktail piss cocktail yeah mm. yeah on the rocks or just straight up I don't know if if it was poured fresh out of that mixer, then it was it was on the rocks. Or would it be on the cocks? It was out of the cocks, on the, the rocks, cocks, on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man! All right, what are you drinking? Uh, I've got myself a Citrus Coast White Belgium, Belgian, not Belgium, Belgian. Oh, that's so probably from Belgium, right? Yeah, there you go, Belgian, Belgium. Um, yeah. So getting away from the sours this week for maybe hmm. only the second time. Okay. In our 15 episodes. Um, brought to you by South Beach Brewing Company. I'll give you one guess where they're from. Yeah. Pretty fucking cool looking can. It's got their uh, longitude and latitude on there. And here, let me put it up there. South Beach Brewing Company. A big old lemon. Okay. That looks cool. Very so it's a cheeky. Belgian style white ale brewed with lemon and lime. Okay. So there you go. Actually, it's from Orlando. So South Beach Brewing Company is in Orlando. <laughs> okay. okay. Maybe maybe they have a a few different facilities. Yeah, or maybe, maybe like they a started sister there and yeah. something. We'll see what we get, boy. Let's see. Maybe they got tired of their brewery getting robbed by Cubans, so they were like, eh, let's let's go up here. Well, if you put like pine saw in a can, you might get a Belgian style white ale brewed with lemon and lime. That's not the best. Uh, <laughs> that's not the best beer I've ever put in my gullet. Um, okay, is it the worst? Hell no. I no, okay. <laughs> no no. We um, you could spend nine ninety nine for a thirty pack in college for a pack that said beer on the side of it. <laughs> that's probably okay. the worst one. Um, ugh. five. Ooh, okay. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a struggle to drink. It's it tastes like cleaner. Yeah. A, you, you know what that they that's probably the stuff from that shaker cup from that dude. Fuck. That yeah, I got the cocktail. You got the Shit. cocktail. Yeah, I'm gonna Damn. take another sip just to make sure I'm not going crazy. I'm also getting a little bit sick, so maybe my taste isn't. But let's see. Well, if it's pine salt esque, maybe it'll help cure your sickness. Man, Kills it's like 99. it's like like if you like opened up your like like dishwasher like I don't know if you get like those cascade packs or like the box and you like flip it open and you get like that mm -hmm. whiff of detergent. It's kind of like that. So that that went through their quality control process and they were like, "Yep, good. Send it out." It's not good. <laughs> All right, redeem us, please. This week I have a sour Back on back on the kick, as much as I enjoyed the horchata. It's called Blue Puffs by Angry Chair Brewing. I like the name so far. Okay. And the uh the flavor profile is Bluebees and Marshies. Bluebees? Bluebees and Marshies. I'm guessing like and blueberries marshies. and marshmallows. Let me see if I can. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Bluebees and marshies. And turn it around. And Let me see the front the, there. The rest of the can. Okay. A little bit of bluebee action. Yeah. Okay. It's like I said, blueberry marshmallow sour. That sounds great. It does. Two of my favorite things. Oh, that's a, that's a dark, dark pink, purple, red. It's delicious. Is it? Can you taste both the blue bees and the marshy? It's very blue bee right off the bat, and the marshies come in, come in clutch at the end. How about sour? Is it like pretty sour? It's it's got that initial tartness, but it like mellows out. So it's not like crazy. It's not like butt pucker and like no. Oh, okay. Um. I'll what you giving a, her? I'll give it a 9.3. Whoa! That good? I could drink like 12 of these. But what about eat? Uh, yeah. If, if you <laughs> solidified it with the blue bees and the marshies. So that's about 30. So 
that's our second nine plus beer then on the podcast so far because I had that vanilla barrel ale that I think would I give it a nine five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is good, but I'm trying to think of how in- impressive that is because we've only had the same beer one episode, right? Um, I think that's correct. It's so starting to get to the be... point where I'm trying to remember them. So if this is episode fifteen, two different a piece, mine it's like what twenty nine different beers. And only two yeah. nine plus? Yeah. Huh. So either we're a little particular or there's just a lot of mediocre beer. Or both. Who knows? Yeah. Well, it's probably both. And with the majority being sours, us being the connoisseurs. Yeah. Uh, it's got it. Uh, loosely. <laughs> Let's well, use that word a little loosely. <laughs> maybe not connoisseurs, but like, you know, you give someone else a sour, they're, they either like it or they don't. But when Very that's true. Like, when that's like 90% of what we drink, we're a little more particular with well, it, I guess. Not really. I mean, not at least not for me, 90% what I drink. Like, until we started recording and making this show, I wasn't going out of my way to find different brews and ales and no not and... not for at home but like if if you were to go to a bar at least oh, and me, we see I a would sour? always look yeah i would always look to see I'll if they that, had please. a sour right. yeah that's a good point that's a good so. point that's a really good point actually um, that's a really good point i also don't go out a lot so <laughs> <laughs> right but when you do it's probably a sour. yeah yeah that's that's the go-to that's the go-to so tell me about how far you guys have gotten there's a new show that we've both it's not a new show it's still going on um called evil how far have you and the wifey got so far on that show i think we're we're still sitting on episode three like completed or you're you got yeah, you got yeah to i think it. we i think we got through three can you remember what happened in three mm. or where it left off or anything like that um no i think we started four and i think four was the one with the vr it's a good episode. The, that might be yeah. one of the best so, episodes. It was definitely me that watched that. Oh, it was. It was because the second they put on those like headsets, you I was were like, like yeah, I remember I've, this. I've definitely seen this. There so was you've a, seen the first season. There was one part in the third episode where I was like, mm, I don't know if I remembered right. that or like I fell asleep watching it. And now that I'm like rewatching it, maybe I woke up during it last night and saw that part for three seconds and fell back asleep. But then we got to that VR part. And I was like, no, I've right. definitely seen this. I don't remember it, though, so it's so to, great to I was going to say, it, I think it came out in 2018 or something along those lines. And it's seasons one and two are on Netflix. And then it's currently three and four and still being filmed on Paramount Plus. Which doesn't make any sense because on Netflix, it pops up like new season available. Like, I get it's a new I... season available, but why... Why only have the second one? They probably don't have the rights to it, and Paramount does. Mm. Um, but why don't I... We probably should start with the premise of the show. <laughs> um, for anyone interested in it, which I didn't think I was going to be. Um, yeah, that's not a very you type of show. So, And I'm not typically into horror stuff in general, um, unless there's a good story behind it, and it's kind of i think why i fell in love with this show is it has some realism to it which this show definitely does right so premise is a skeptical forensic psychologist dr Kristen Burkard, catholic sem- seminarian david acosta and skeptical technology contractor ben shakir are hired by the catholic church to investigate supernatural events as time passes the three find the three find their personal lives increasingly intertwined with such events and the individuals behind some of the incidents such as dr townsend a rival forensic psychologist who seems obsessed with the other forensic scientists psychologists family so each episode is like it kind of feels like law and order like there's like that one case yeah um, but it has but then there's also underlying that story underlying line. story yeah. that also builds itself into it i'm in love with it i yeah. i I can't stop watching it. It's great. And I'm really glad I have Paramount Plus so I can continue watching it once I get to that point. So if you got anyone's into the horror slash uh, crime, mystery. Supernatural, yeah. Supernatural, but it has that element of. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. There's an explanation right. for this, which I think is why I like it. Is It, yeah, it kind of brings it into the, the real the logical world. thinkers, yeah. Yeah. Um, great show. Evil. Great show. Evil. Love is evil. Spell it backwards. I'll show you. You know who said now, that? Um, a rapper? Yep. Lil Wayne? No, the other one. Drake? No. 
<laughs> Lil Wayne's here. Yeah. Drake's here. Eminem. The other. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. The yeah. other one. Right, so um, speaking of Drake, did you did you see anything? I'm sure you probably don't follow that industry a whole lot, but the whole no. beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar going on. Couldn't tell you. It's uh like they ate hamburgers together or like. No, no, a different kind of beef. Uh, okay. I don't. I read <laughs> like how it started. Or? I don't remember. I didn't care too much to get get too far into it. But um, I guess Kendrick's saying that Drake has a kid that's by another man. Like he thinks it's his, but it's not. And Drake said Kendrick Lamar like abuses women or some shit like that. And I don't know. They're like releasing songs back and forth, left and right. And uh, I can't remember one of them. One of the Kendrick Lamar ones, song, like an actual song called like 3 a.m. in Toronto or something like that. So one of Kendrick's disses is, is called 616 in Los Angeles. And I don't know how these people find this shit, but someone did some digging. And apparently 616 was Drake's locker combination in Degrassi, the episode that he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, how does Kendrick think of this? Uh, B, how are how are these people like? Oh, I know that. Like, like I could care less about it, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, I was like, that's that's, that's great. Just like the as in depth as they go to like. I mean, I guess that's I even, gotcha. That's, yeah, that's like not even yeah. dirt, but like a low key shot. I'm like, that's that's impressive. Well, speaking of beef, that's what's for dinner. <laughs> um, I wanted you to kind of build me your ultimate burger. You're a fan of burgers, right? You like burgers? I do like burgers. Okay. So to preface it, um, there's four tiers, and each tier has a different ingredient in your burger, and you can only pick one ingredient from that tier to build your burger. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. This is that thing that I said I apologize. Maybe it might be easy. We'll see. So I said build a burger with different tiers. So you got four tiers. Okay. Oh, fuck. You got four tiers. I'm going to... Some of them have three items. Some of them have four items. You can only pick one item per tier to build your burger. So each tier has several ingredients. Okay. But you can only pick one per tier, and that's your burger. Okay. Does that I make think sense? I understand. Yeah. So, for example, your first tier, you can only pick one. Building the ultimate burger, a sesame seed bun, a potato roll and or bun, or a tortilla. I guess potato. I wish you would have. Uh, potato it, over sesame, huh? I wish you would have given me pretzel bun as an option. Mm-hmm. Okay, that would have been good. Yeah. It's not on the list, though, David, so it's you can't list. choose it. Fuck. <laughs> so you're going um, potato, potato roll? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Okay. Um, your second tier, you have four options here. You got ketchup, mayonnaise, onions, in any form you like, ring, sautéed, grilled, raw, whatever you want. Okay. Um, or cheese, any flavor you want, any any kind of cheese. Interesting. Um, cheese. <laughs> okay, it's, it, it's got to have cheese on it, right? Let's, it's a burger. let's go back and and give me sesame seed. Now that I'm thinking about it, mm, I don't know. We already made it to tier two. Your burger's not done yet. The beef ain't even been cooked. We're good. All you got is cheese and bread. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. So we'll go to you got sesame seed bun and cheese. What kind of cheese are we going to go with? What's like pepper your go to? A pepper jack. Okay. Yeah. Every time. I like that. I like that a lot. Not American, huh? Not like plastic American, but like real American. Uh, no. And I heard. Recently, that American cheese was invented or created in France. That tracks. <laughs> I, I believe it. Yeah. Like, I guess, I guess France has all these, like, nice cheeses, and they were like, <clears throat> this fucking bullshit leftover, we'll just call it American. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so, fun fact. It tracks. Yeah. All right. So we're sticking to this. Pepper Jack and a sesame seed bun. Yeah. All right. Your third tier. Get into some meat here. It's a burger, right? It is. You got your beef patty. You got your turkey patty, or you got bacon. So, I'll say this now. <laughs> so this, it would become a bacon sandwich. Yeah, this sam this segment should have been called your perfect sandwich, because if I don't pick the beef, it's not a burger. Well, to each their own. Are you going to pick bacon? It's going to have a BLT? Like, what are we doing here? No, I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with a burger. Beef. A beef, beef, beef patty. patty. Maybe some Kobe, or some wa Wagyu. Anything. Sure. As long as there's substance. All right, your last tier, you got cheese, you got beef, you got a bun. And last tier, I got pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, or an egg. Egg. Ooh. So it sounds good, but a little bit dry. Ain't got no sauce on there. You went with cheese instead of sauce? Yep. Like, I wouldn't be mad at eating bacon, cheese, and egg on a bun. Like, that sounds delicious. I'd eat that. If the if the burger's cooked properly, it's not going to be dry. That's a good point, too. You got a nice, juicy burger. And if burger. the cheese is nice and... 
melty. Yeah, if the cheese is nice and melted. And you toasted that bun a little bit on there, got a little crunch to it. Yeah. Okay, you happy with it? Would you change anything? Yeah, I don't I don't like the circumstances in, in which I had to select. That was kind of what I was going for, is I didn't want it to be obvious answers each tier. I didn't want it to be like condiments one tier, so you always have a condiment. I wanted you to kind of have to make that decision of yeah, what do I want to sacrifice for something that I really want on this burger. You went for the approach that was like, if I owned a restaurant, how could I deter customers? <laughs> Welcome to Build Your Own Burger. Here's your choices. <laughs> A burger or not a burger and all this oh, other you, shit. Oh, you took mayonnaise? Well, then you can't have cheese. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I think that's a better better game than, no, oh, you get something of everything. More no, this is like, hey, you've got, exactly, you've got. Well, you started off, build choices. your perfect burger. And after the second tier, it was any possibility of being my perfect burger was eliminated based on the tiers. I got Listen, tiers when you had said that. You get your egg, your cheese, and your beef. And you're, you're happy about it. And shut the fuck up. <laughs> and get out of my restaurant. <laughs> my perfect burger would be the Tucker Duke. Oh. How's that? Oh. That was that big motherfucker. With the onion rings on it. Yeah, and it had like a, this balsamic something in there. Yeah, I don't. Oh, my God. Everything about that burger was perfect. I still remember sitting there. I was drinking a root beer. I still remember that. That was the best burger I've ever had. Yeah, same Hands down. From what? It's called Tucker Dukes, right? The yeah. Restaurant. And that yeah, was yeah. their staple burger was the Tucker oh, Duke. Oh, my God. And it was like big boy. Phenomenal. Like it was like the size of like like a plate. Uh, no. Maybe a little smaller, but yeah. it was big. It yeah. was big. But it was so tall because of the onion rings on it. And then you were supposed to like smush it down before you ate it. Oh. So. Make yeah. Me I miss that. Man, that sounds good right now. I would eat the hell out of that. <laughs> Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons, or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. That's a, a sort of a good segue in, into this week's Ask Reddit, which is, you fucked around, what did you find out? Like, mm. fuck around and find out? <laughs> yeah. You fucked around, what did you find out? Um, and I got way more responses than i anticipated because they were all just gold see I, my first initial thought was a more general answer i think like like you fucked around and found out that like you're not as good as you thought you were or like you're you know like a humbling answer like you're yeah well these are humbling you know. let me uh let me try to give you some what's the word variety no, no not like motivation something to like help you maybe think about what yours is okay cool with that all right you fucked around what did you find out? Here are the responses. Okay. That nearly incapable of getting pregnant does not mean incapable of getting pregnant. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> Another one says, a dude might be a fat 45-year-old family dad, but his hands can still knock you the fuck out. Absolutely. Fuck around and find out. That's a good one. Another one says, that hot laboratory glass looks exactly like cold laboratory glass. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that's tough. Another one says, don't have sex with your friends unless you're prepared to lose them entirely. Yeah, I, I think that's already kind of known. Yeah, but have you ever fucked around and found out? No, it's kind of, I, <laughs> I, I do know that kind of sort of the same, like when it comes to work, like I've definitely always kept myself to don't dip your pen in company ink kind of thing. Well, yeah, well, for the most part. Well, now your, your company ink is still being manufactured. Right. right. <laughs> if you will. Well said. Well said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another one says, you are completely able to get two incurable STDs the first time you have sex. <laughs> oh, God. The first time? Oh, man. That's the worst. That's so hard. Oh, I lost my virginity. Oh, I need a prescription. Oh, I need two prescriptions. Oh, fuck. Uh, man, that's rough. That's rough. Another one says, if you turn 18 in jail, they transfer you to the adult side at midnight. Oh, my God. They don't fuck around. Yeah. And then you find out. Another one says alcohol and power tools are not a good combination. Uh, depends on what you're doing, but okay, I see where they're going. I don't – I think they might be an acceptable combination, but I, I, don't, I can't think of any instance they would be a good or recommended combination. 
Yeah. Like you never pull out the fucking Ikea nightstand and they're like, all right, you need a screwdriver, a drill, a 3 H drill bit, and a bottle. See, that's when I would go. I'm just going to go to fucking bed. <laughs> I'll do this tomorrow. <laughs> no, I. the only real life instance I can think of is as a teenager <laughs> camping growing up with my dad and my brother. He taught us, maybe we might not even have been teenagers. He taught us, um, I don't know the, I know I'm sure there's a name for it, but it was like how how close can you throw the knife to the other person's foot game? Okay. I'm I'm sure there's a name for it. Um, but none of us actually threw it into the other's foot. But we so you probably and were almost found out elementary middle school, like throwing knives at each other's feet with my dad and playing with us. <laughs> and you said he taught you that it wasn't even he like you were doing us. it and he was like, eh, okay, I'll no, let it slide. It, it, it was, was like, like, Hey guys, a, come here, check this out. Yeah. And I'm I'm kind of glad no one found out because that would have been a hell of a yeah. time going home. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been interesting. What happened? Well, you see. Well, my dad taught us to throw knives. <laughs> and it right, went so in my foot. <laughs> some of the other ones um, that no one was even remotely kidding about the addictive properties of heroin. Jesus. Just like taking these at face value is like whatever, but just like thinking about someone responding to this, like yeah, like speaking from experience. So this this next one is seven grams of mushrooms will, in fact, put you into another inescapable time stop dimension for what feels like two to three weeks within the two hour peak. While it feels like everything you know about the world becomes a distant memory that you possibly just made up like to fuck around and find that out is pretty traumatic. I don't know if it's fucking around if you're willingly, knowingly eating seven grams of of, of shrooms like. Well, I think you knew you were around with you're doing willingly, right? Uh, yeah, it's a good point. Uh, another one says, if a crackhead pulls a gun on you and you say, I dare you, do it, bitch, they may, in fact, do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, another one says, you might not know it, but you really like your knees. Ooh. I don't know that's... what the story is behind that, but. No, that's a good one. You could, right. you could replace that for a lot of things. Like, yeah. you might not know it, but you should appreciate your eyes, like that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got Oof. two more. This one says, mate, just don't piss on electric fences. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds and, uh, like a shock. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but don't. And the last one is, turns out you can, in fact, just walk around a Canadian goose. <laughs> <laughs> that might be my favorite answer out of all of them. Uh, That's really fun. Yeah, they're, uh, <laughs> they're assholes, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Fuck those geese. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I can't. I can't think of anything off the the top of my head. Fuck around and find out. Like something traumatic that happened. Based That's what on I was thinking about. A willing decision. Fucked around and found out. Uh, well, I found out a little bit. I mean, I was. I still remember. I was eighth grade and uh, with a buddy of mine. Kind of. You remember Adam? Mm-hmm. Um, down in his room probably after school one day and he had one of those just a normal like swiss army knife you know it opens up the red ones mm-hmm. you know we were st- stabbing a shoe as you do <laughs> in your hand was it um on so you had a no, shoe in no, your hand just holding the shoe and going to town on it okay um and said swiss army knife closed on my finger on my pinky um to this day it 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 one it pops every time i bend it pop 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 pop, pop. two i have no feeling like on the top knuckle right there like on my finger really and still got that scar I'm looking at it right now huh okay F- fucked around and found out stabbed fucked around shirt. and found out there you go yeah i don't uh, the only thing i could think of is we got yelled at one time when i was with joe i got that was we found out we were actually throwing rocks at canadian geese down the boat as club you, as you do yeah and some Fuck guy geese. came over and fucking started screaming at us yeah, it's because you weren't members of the boat club oh god forbid no, I think it was because we were throwing rocks at geese. <laughs> so, I could let kids be kids. I would have been like, did you get yeah. it? Yeah. Hopefully the 35 people that listen to this aren't members of PETA and don't get us canceled. But we were like, gonna, we were like, more than that, come homie. on now. Kids <laughs> throw rocks at other shit. So. Yeah. Well, I got one. I was probably, I say, speaking of kids, I was probably uh, elementary school, eight-ish. Is this another and, fuck around and found out or? Yeah, sort of. Okay. I, we were, um, this is when I lived in Westminster, um, and we were up on this big hill where my neighbor lived, and me and him, he was like, you know, my best friend, my neighbor. We were up there, it was at night, um, 
and he got his his dad was a Baltimore City cop, so he had one of those really big like mag flashlights. Yeah, that we had taken, um, and we were outside fucking around with it, and we went and laid on this hill, and there was like this little rock we could lay behind him. Every time a car drove by, we'd flash it at the car. Bing. And then one car just stopped in the middle of the road, got out, walked up the hill, and was like, you don't fucking do that. It's so dangerous. How dare you? And we were just like, you know, as kids, it's just like, oh, we're so sorry. Yeah. We'll never do it again. Nah, that's all I got. Nothing crazy. That reminds me of, of two things. One of them is a time that I fucked around and found out, I guess. And the other one is a time that someone else fucked around and found out. The one that I fucked around and found out, I guess, ish, is my cousin bet me 20 bucks one time. We were out like family gathering at a, a Chinese restaurant and there was this really hot, I don't know if it was a pepper or a sauce or something. And she was like, 20 bucks, you won't eat that. And we were like 13, 14. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll eat it. Ate the shit out of it. We got back to my grandparents' house like a half hour later and I shit you not. Literally, I was in the bathroom for like two hours just fucking was letting it, her go. Was it like bum bum piss and mouth piss or was it just, just, just shitting your brains out? It just, everything I, it was like a number four dude it was Oof. one of the most <laughs> memorable <laughs> with extra cheese <laughs> yeah and this time you, we might have told you the story the time that this other mm-hmm. dude fucked around and found out is it was like me joe uh and a couple other people we were up at the uh the bus stop in joe's old neighborhood throwing okay. snowballs at cars and there was this one car that came came through and we were it was like this old like 80 year old dude so we were like Okay, instead of chucking his car with snowballs, we waved to him, and he flipped us off. <laughs> and we were like, Fuck this okay, guy. asshole. Yeah. And sure enough, he drives another, like, 300 feet down the road, and there was a garbage truck stuck, and he got stuck behind the garbage truck. <laughs> so we were like, hell yeah, yeah. guess what, motherfucker? So we yeah. made, like, eight and went down there and just started fucking pegging the shit out of his car. <laughs> like, Fuck around and find out, you old bastard. He's probably dead now. I shouldn't say that. I was going to say, to this day, you still hold a grudge, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah. It was just, we're just trying to be nice. Like, hey. He's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> was that that old, like, 1950s, like, blue bus stop right there on the corner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was probably right like a World the, War II bunker. The bamboo forest right there? Yeah. Uh-huh. That yeah. was it. Built a little fucking hill pile thing and mm-hmm. let a rip tater chip. <laughs> let a rip tater chip. Um, well, do you want me to hit you with my ass? Crack? Yeah, what you got? Maybe I'll, I'll have a little little more luck thinking about something for that. Well, my ask credit this week um, is if you could own one item, no matter the price, what is it? And if you want some responses, I can help you out. Mm. Okay, I think I have mine, but go ahead and go ahead and read some. Well, let me preface it. Do you want to do it has to be a real item or mine's not? Be, okay. So my first thought was a wand from Harry yep. Potter. That's so it. that's when I said that we were going to have the same answer. Yeah. I don't know if I led towards that because you said that. Like, I think yeah, I was thinking things, and I was like, oh, he said the same thing. It's probably this. Well, then like, let's hey, switch it, good. and it has to be something that's real in existence. What would it be? Hmm. It has to be a real thing, no matter Are the, the price. responses real or fake? Um, mostly real. Mostly okay. real. Um, one guy said, planet Earth, get off my lawn, you little bastards. That's, um, that's cheating, though, because you own it is. multiple things we got a mouthful of functional teeth that's all also multiple things mm-hmm. <laughs> you get you um, get a tooth you get one tooth and that's it i got luxury yacht but i'd also need the money to staff it and maintain it can i have that too and the response was i believe the phrase you're looking for is a fully staffed and maintained luxury yacht yeah that works or you could just sell the yacht and buy a cheaper one and use mm-hmm. the extra to staff it and, find, yeah uh two chicks at the same time man <laughs> Yeah, he's from. Okay. That reminds um, me. I ever tell you about that time I went to Sam's Club and bought rotisserie chicken. I got two rotisserie chickens. That's all I went. It was back when I was meal prepping my chicken and rice. I went to get two rotisserie chickens, and that's all I got. And I'm walking out, mm, and the fucking no. the old dude at the door that like checks your receipts. Yeah. He's like, "Oh man, I wish I was walking out of here with two hot chicks." And I was like, "Hey, he like he's been waiting for like forty years." God, to dude, that yeah. line. He's yeah. been checking receipts since he was 40 he's now 80 yeah and he's like man and it's every gonna happen single one day. day yeah and here comes david with his two rotisserie chickens and he went he went home and told betty he said betty never believe it it happened <laughs> it happened and he's like talking to an urn <laughs> drinking his whiskey and smoking his cigar <laughs> um oh jesus oh, 
Uh, let's see. I got uh, Mint Condition 1981 DMC DeLorean with an EV conversion that makes Back to the Future noises when you drive it. That's pretty sick. Okay. I want medical nanotechnology that can cure my multiple sclerosis and health problems that plague my body. Selfish. Um, a house, any house. It doesn't matter. I just want a house. Okay. A cannon from a pirate ship would look cool next to my coffee table. Okay, so you could own anything in the world, and you want a cannon that just sits in your living room? But he doesn't have a coffee table, though. He only has a cannon. What? Or is this in addition to everything Oh, you no, this is have? a separate answer. A cannon from a pirate ship it would look cool next to my coffee table. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Is this like you, you still have everything that you have? Or like you have nothing? Yeah. And you get yeah, to Yeah, you know, play? you have everything you have. You oh, just, okay. what's one thing, no matter the price? Um, this one was a 100 kilogram bar of pure gold. Okay. Why not do 10,000 kilograms? Right. Or, or like a more. Oh. Okay, so the next answer was Fort Knox. Okay. The entire U.S. gold supply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. Um, for me, I think I'd want my own, like, he's out. Fuck. For me, uh, for me, I think I would want my own, like, island slash, yeah, no, I'm going to go with the island, but not like a little schmutz. An island that, like, maybe the size of, like, what's the biggest Hawaiian island, Honolulu? Yes. Something that it's like 8, 10, 12, 20, 30 miles. I don't know how big it is. Something that's relatively big, but not huge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My own island would be awesome. Okay. And what would you do with it? Mm, I'd, I'd become my own country. Okay. I don't think that's that easy. Yeah. You just write a letter and you sign something here and you, you know, have a good day. It's like, it's like signing up for like the Boy Scouts, right? It's just like. I think if it was that easy, there'd be more than what, like 211 <laughs> of them. <laughs> Um, and I'd name it. What would you name it? I would name my own island. I would name it the Island Nation. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Island Boy? Oh, <laughs> the island, the nation of the Island Boy. Yeah, just just the one. They already have the Island Boys. You'd you'd be the Island Boy. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just put some like uh, what's that what's that stuff called? Um, Saran wrap. No, that you can like bend, uh, like uh, clean uh, the pipes. Uh, Pull noodle. No, like the uh, what are they called? The little, it's something pipe. Flexi pipe. Yeah, but what's it called? And it's got like the. What color is it? It could be any color. It's got like the like soft. Oh uh, fuck! You talking about like the the pipes, the things that are like like a pipe cleaner kind of thing? Yeah, they're just like fuzzy and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just, just have to. Yeah, pipe cleaners. I'll just put a bunch of them. In poking out of my head so i'm one uh, island boy okay nah, i was wondering where you were going with that <laughs> okay. right. you look like fucking angelica cynthia doll but just fucking hair dyed what would you go for if it had to be a real thing if it's if it's like a see i, I wish i knew like the technicals of this kind of stuff so like if i said like oil how much it's oil do i get safe. what kind of oil like like poppy seed oil or like like saudi grape Prince oil oil oh like like carbon like deep into earth yeah oil. but if i say oil how much do i get well you could say all the oil in the world okay sure damn that's a good answer i feel <laughs> like i could sell that and have whatever i want yeah be a trillionaire yeah, yeah. well damn. speaking of island who do you think would survive longer stranded on an island it's really funny you said that because i have a stranded island thing well it's funny you said island because i have who would last longer stranded on an island written down between just you and me I. and you uh -huh. oh me <laughs> <laughs> very confident in that answer <laughs> how do you figure um so as sad as it is to say i think it would have to come down to my knowledge from from youtube <laughs> what um, eric start that channel you've been watching no it? no 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 i have been following and watching a lot of survivor survival channels for probably 10 years plus or minus one or two years um I just feel like I just have a general sense of how to make it as long as possible. I think the military is probably your best benefit as far as I don't know how much survival training you actually get um, in basic training, but I think that's probably your best uh, at least know how of what to do and how to go about it. But I, I definitely think it would. So be you're, you're putting YouTube videos over practical training in the field? Thousand percent. <laughs> 
Now, you think you retain all that because you're not going to have your phone to pull up the YouTube video when you're quite there. A, so if you've got to build yourself a shelter, you're going to be like. I could do that. Hmm. No problem. Okay. I could find water, food. Now, well, when you're it on came an to island, like, it wouldn't be hard to find water. Yeah. Well, how big of an island? There's big islands out there. Are we talking like Castaway Tom Hanks Island? That's pretty fucking big. Or are we talking like Little Pelico in the Pacific? That's like you could walk around it in 30 minutes. And eh, you're maybe good. not. Maybe not 30. Maybe like an hour, two hours. Okay. Not not so big that big enough that you could get lost. Big enough that there'd be wildlife, but not. Oh, big enough for wildlife. Yeah, I mean nothing fucking crazy. Like some birds, fucking Jumanji shit. Maybe a bear. I don't know. Oh fuck! It's an island. I've never been there. We're stranded. I don't know what's there. No, I, I have full confidence in in me. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll have to put that to the test when we get um, a million followers and we can afford an island. Yeah, we'll just uh, you can come over here and we'll we'll. we'll There's that one out, out there in the intracoastal. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Was that give me the same thing you had for an island or you No, I have um if you were on a desert island questions. I have 16, <laughs> so that's way too many. I want you to pick uh let's go with three numbers between 1 and 16. Mm. Three numbers? Yeah, and I'll pick those questions out of the list. Okay. Uh 3, 8 and 12. Okay. Um, let's start with three then. If you were left on a deserted island with either your worst enemy or no one, which would you choose and why? Uh, my worst enemy. So I had something to eat. If oh. push comes to shove, and I, I had to need think to about eat. that for a second. <laughs> not not to sound like a cannibal, but if we're out there for a while and push comes to shove, I gotta eat. I'd rather. So who who are you eating? Jerry Jones or who's like your worst? Nah, enemy? that that tastes like leather, dude. That tastes like overcooked steak. It'll last for a while. I got a bunch of jerky. <laughs> well, I have to pick someone you. I don't know if I have a worst enemy. Do you have a fat worst enemy? I, I <laughs> it's going to be like some good steaks. And... I don't know that I have any enemies. Yeah, same. That's a, I don't. Yeah. But whoever that may be, I'd, I would take them. Okay. Um, you said eight was your next? Yeah. If you were trapped on a deserted island with one celebrity, who would it be? Well, I guess using the same logic. Um Probably like Roseanne. Because you're going to eat them? Yeah. <laughs> Who? Who'd you I, say, Roseanne? Yeah, she's fat, right? <laughs> and you can get some, too. Ah, uh, yeah. No. <laughs> nope. She might eat you if that happens. Yeah. But that would just, something like that would be so beneficial because she might be funny, so she could provide some entertainment. Yeah, the mental game would be huge. If there is a bear, who's out running who? Yeah, that's a good point. And then, again, in the event... We need food. I got food. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go with Roseanne. Fuck it. And 12 is a, a good one, too. Um, if you were stranded on an island, what three items would you want to have with you? And don't do not do no scapegoat of, like, a G- satellite phone or, like, you know. Just, like, let's, let's, survival let's, items? Yeah, think of survival or, like, you were on a shipwreck and then you're, I'm like, taking lifeboat. items from the ship. Yeah, so they were like items on the ship, and your lifeboat washed up on this island, so you have them with you. But nothing that's like, oh, I'll take my my Xbox and I'll what are take, the you know like you did for the fucking Fallout shelter. Yeah, yeah you didn't prep and your and your eighty five inch TV. <laughs> I said ninety. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, um, what are the odds that I'll get rescued? Is it like inevitably I'm dying there? Yeah, let's say you're stranded Like, there's no forever. point in, like, taking a flare gun or anything right, like that. Right, right. Okay, yeah, okay. let's say you're you're stranded for the foreseeable future and no one's coming. Guess a knife. Perfect answer. Knife. Okay. This kind of falls into our Fallout combo of, like, what would you want during an apocalypse? Well, that's a little different because in the shelter you're living comfortably and here you're, like, fending for yourself and trying to make it. Um, yeah. Probably alcohol. Mm, bad answer. I don't think so. If I'm if I'm out there with like zero chance of being rescued, I'm going to I'm going to get my Johnny Depp on. Well, I agree with the knife. What would be your third item? Uh hmm. something from the ship. Well, not necessarily from a ship, but think well, of it I'm as shipwrecked. like uh, no, it's not prefaced as you're shipwrecked, but I don't want it to be something like I said where you're like oh, I'm just right. going to bring a satellite phone or I'm going to bring a GPS Garmin tracker kind of thing. Like, mm, let's see. I don't. I don't need a lighter. I don't need a compass. What do you mean you don't need a lighter? You don't need a lighter to start fire. Yeah, you need something to. What are you going to start a fire with on a deserted island? Sticks. 
Fuck that. No, you're not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you ever done it? And you thought, no, I haven't done it, but you can do it. Yeah, you can. With sticks and rocks? Yeah. I want something. I'm not going to waste an item on. Not a waste. I think it's a waste. I would definitely take a knife, something to start fire with, whether it's like a flint or something. Something that could help me to start fires with. I would bring that. Mm. Um, let's see what else. You need water to survive. I'll just say that. Yeah. What if it doesn't rain on this island for a long time and there's no coconuts? You're going to need fire to boil your seawater. Right. Which I can make, but you need something to boil it in. This is true. So your booze, a knife. You're going to need like a <laughs> pot, I guess. And a pot. Well, no, because you know what? No. If I have my no. booze, I can use that bottle yeah. to boil the water. That's true. So I don't need a pot. So you're relying on you could start a fire with two sticks. Yeah. Well, and <sighs> rocks. You hit the rocks against each other. That's how you get your sparks. Well, there's no rocks. You don't you're watch. On sandy, you're on a sandy beach. There's fucking rocks. Come on now. Also, you're going to need the right rocks. If you just, are you just smacking rocks together, they're just going to chip apart. They're not going to create a spark for you. You're trying to think easy way out here. I'm thinking longevity. Yeah, so I'm taking a fire starter, a knife, and I'm going to go back to the Fallout episode and go for some sort of life straw slash bladder system with filtration in it for water. Well, you need that if you just boil it. I got nothing to boil Those it. Those also aren't good forever, and your no. fire starter is also not going to last forever, so you're inevitably going to have to learn how to start a fire with rocks and sticks. Well, let's say they last forever. Because <laughs> <laughs> that helps my answers. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so what's your third? Hmm. Go with a gun. Okay, I'm going to shoot those coconuts. Fuck yeah. Nah, just if I can't do it anymore, I'm taking myself out. Oh, that's a good point. Um, yeah, it's way better than drowning yourself or just starving yeah. to death. Or uh, All right, pick one more number. We'll do one more. Uh, out of 16 5 and then um, I'm going to get a beer what stuck on a deserted island movie would you think about while you were deserted on an island that's a stupid <laughs> one okay um, let's do 9 9 um, no it's another if you were sh- trapped Four, with a fictional 14. character um, oh if you could only take 3 albums slash CDs to a deserted island and listen to them what would they be that's pretty good be Lincoln Park Hybrid Theory. Yeah. It would be Eminem, the Eminem show. And it would be Blink-182, Enema of the State. Fuck yeah, dude. Those are great answers. I think I those like are that. like the only three. Not that I've owned a ton of CDs, but the only ones I've owned that I can confidently say I like every song on the CD. What about a book? Uh, what book would you bring with you? Would you bring something that like... Like not saying like a survival book? Right. Like um, Goblet of Fire. Oh, okay. What about like a like a, a book with a lot of like art or history or um, something? Art? Like, you know. Yeah, art. One of those books that you like hold close to your eyes and you pull it no, away no, slow. No, no. no something that <laughs> has like images image in it? of like great pieces of work. That, that kind of book. Uh, probably. It's got Picasso's. It's got Da Vinci's in there. It's got. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. An encyclopedia, I guess. What the fuck do I care about that? I'm on a goddamn island. Well, just to give you that kind of escape is to like. It's not an escape. That's a that's a, a traumatic realization of being stuck on an island. Like, ah, oh, look at this shit. I'll never see again. Okay. <laughs> like, that's, I don't give a fuck about art now. You think I would give a fuck about it if I'm on an island? Fair point. Fair point. Okay. Hmm. If you had to be trapped on a deserted island with one fictional character, who would it be? Is this another inevitably? Riding out existence there, or is there a chance I can get, like, if I bring, like, Elon or something, he'll probably figure out a way to contact someone somewhere, and or is it like, mm-hmm. no, nah, fuck it, you're stuck there forever? Yeah, you're stuck. Oh, well, you said fictional. I guess Elon's not fictional. Yeah, you're, you're, you're <coughs> stuck uh, there. Fictional. Let's say, like, Dumbledore. Mm. Or maybe Harry. Well, no. So I, someone I, someone who could just get you unstuck? He could just, like, nah, I mean, all right, let's get out of here. He would get us out of danger. He could, yeah, it would just, it would just be very convenient. I'd, I was going to say Harry, but I guess I probably got another century out of Dumbledore anyway, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of fictional characters, I want to do a sort of like a tournament style bracket. We'll do one round per episode of, I guess, like who would win in a fight sort of thing. Hell yeah. So okay. I have 32 Hell yeah. randomly chosen fictional characters. Now we're talking. Let's go. I'm ready. How many are we going to do today? 
we're gonna do the first round today, so it'll be what sixteen. Yeah, I figured 16 each, each episode we'll do we'll do a round. Okay. So the first one is gonna be Master Chief versus mm-hmm. Spyro the Dragon. I'm gonna go Spyro. Okay. You wanna you wanna justify that? Um, he can fly and breathes fire. Okay. I guess he's not very yeah. very big though, right? Yeah. Does Master Chief have guns? A ten second shot to the face of Master Chief with just pure fire, melt that shit on his face. He's done. Okay. I I wasn't really big into Halo, so I don't know if it's like a fire retardant suit or mm, it could be. I wasn't either. Mm. Okay. Well, you chose. We'll go with it. Go in Spyro. Next one's gonna be Kirby versus Sonic. Go Sonic. That's interesting to me. So I've been wanting to do this segment for like two months now, and I've been trying to like get a decent list together that's not like too much of this thing or too much of this thing. And I looked up a bunch of like most powerful fictional character of all time list. Like six of those lists, Kirby was number one because all I he know can is literally consume them. And I was gonna say that's powers. all I know he can do. Oh, he can do that. Yeah, but he's got to consume them first. I feel like Sonic's. Kirby can get as big as he wants and inhale with, like, hurricane force gusts. Yeah, in front of him, where Sonic is so fast that, like... Well, what's he going to do behind him? Kick him? Punch him him in the fucking dick. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Well, you you chose it. We'll roll with it. Yeah, go in Sonic. Next one's going to be Hannibal Lecter versus Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Hannibal's a meticulous man. He he's he's thought out and methodical and look I didn't I didn't choose these matchups these were randomly generated. Laura's gonna come with two forty fives and say fuck you Hannibal <laughs> and two zigzags. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's gonna be Austin Powers versus Link from Zelda. Link. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and he's hi. the next one's gonna be jason bourne versus captain jack sparrow uh jason bourne it's easy i saw this uh my facebook memories the other day a meme popped up from the uh the johnny depp amber heard trial and someone had said i hope johnny depp wins this trial and afterwards when they're walking out of the courthouse he turns and says you will always remember this as the day that you <laughs> almost caught <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. And then or ran you almost away. beat, yeah. <laughs> and then ran with his Jack Sparrow run, like, <laughs> with his legs kicking up high. And yeah. All that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be really funny. All right, the next one is going to be Mario versus Tommy Versetti. I don't know who Tommy Versetti is. He's the main GTA? character. Yeah, Vice City. Oh, uh, Mario. Mario's going to eat a feather and be like, fuck you, dude. So Tommy's, okay, he's got a lot of guns. I'm going Mario. Okay. The next one's going to be Shrek versus Max Payne. Oh. And remember, ogres are like onions. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Max Payne. Like, if I pictured them both going up against each other, Max Payne's winning. Okay. All right. And here here you go. The next one is Godzilla versus Liu Kang. It's not even a contest. <laughs> you know, Godzilla. Liu Kang's, like, Liu Kang's like a god, I think That's- I saw. Yeah, Godzilla's going to go, oh, you're a god? Smush. Okay. Godzilla. Next one's good. <laughs> you thought that was a rough mashup. The next one's going to be Crash Bandicoot versus Megatron. That's not hard. Megatron. What the fuck? Yeah, no, I yeah he's going to he's gonna flick him and go, excuse me. No, I know. I'm saying you thought oh, Godzilla okay. Liu Kang was one-sided. Yeah, it's, yeah. All right. The, ooh, ooh. Talk about random generators setting us up. The next okay. one is Voldemort versus Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I wish that would have uh, been a little more interesting. We already uh, know the outcomes. So yeah. That's, that's an easy answer. It's funny it, it put it that way. <laughs> um, the next one is Donkey Kong versus Solid Snake. I'm going DK. Fucking bustling in, throwing barrels and shit. All right. The next one is James Bond versus Ryu from Street Fighter. Ah, uh, you can. Is that him? That's him. Him and Ken do him. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Versus James Bond. Yeah. Can't Ryu shoot like fireballs? Doesn't he, yeah, doesn't and he have flying like a, kicks? Yeah. And that uppercut though. Um, but Bond could also just be chilling with his MP5. Like, nah, dude. <laughs> or it could be in his Jaguar that shoots missiles. But I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, I was gonna say the fireball would probably melt the bullet as it came in. I'm gonna go with Bond. James Bond. Bond. The next one is Spock versus Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Spock. 
the next one is Mewtwo versus Ganondorf. Oh, go Mewtwo. Yeah, full disclosure, Mewtwo would win this whole thing for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next one is well, G. Harry G- might have a chance. He might. He might. Yeah, Mewtwo's psychic. He would know what Harry's going to do before Harry does it. Harry could cast spells to block it and or be- make himself a psychic, too. He can't make himself a psychic. We'll get there when we get there. Okay. The next one is G.I. <laughs> Joe versus the Powerpuff Girls. Mm. Oh, one G.I. Joe versus all of them? Uh, yeah, I guess. That's how it's written. Oh, Powerpuff. And this one you have to, I mean, all of them you should. Like, all the characters have their abilities that they have in their respective, respective. universe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the last one for the first round is Ash Ketchum versus the Hulk. But Ash has all of his Pokemon yeah, Ash. <laughs> for sure. All right. That's it for the okay. first round. So advancing advancing to the second round is Spyro, Sonic, Lara Croft, Link, Jason Bourne, Mario, Max Payne, Godzilla, Megatron, Harry Potter, Donkey Kong, James Bond, Spock, Mewtwo, the Powerpuff Girls, and Ash Ketchum. Ooh, Mewtwo versus Megatron because he doesn't technically have thoughts because he's a robot, so he can't use his psychic abilities. Well, he's got to get there first. He's got to get there for uh, Megatron's going to be tough to beat. Okay. Okay. Well, he's, yeah. Oh, I won't, I won't spoil it. You'll get it next yeah, week. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Cool. So there's our, there's our first round of that. I saw this earlier that I thought was pretty insane. Uh, there have only been two men with the last name of Moyer to play Major League Baseball Ed Moyer, who died on November 18th, 1962, and Jamie Moyer, who was born on November 18th, 1962. What the fuck? Isn't that fucking crazy? That's that sounds scripted, dude. And they were not, <laughs> and they were not related. That's some scripted. Yeah. That's God going. Look what I can do. <laughs> yeah. What? Huh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So we were talking about um, your ultimate burger that I kind of set you up for failure with. Um, to to segue into this kind of sort of because you know burgers. <laughs> um. <laughs> You know, as you do, Kool-Aid burgers. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me the top five fast food chains in the U.S. based off of revenue? Okay. And I don't have anything beyond five. I just have with the top five. Okay. We'll go with McDonald's. Number one, right off the bat, McDonald's. I think that's easy. We'll yeah. go with Wendy's. Uh, Wendy's is on the list at number five. You're at one and five. Okay. Um Let's go Burger King, I guess. Not on the list. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, how about Taco Bell? Taco Bell's number three. So you get McDonald's one, Taco Bell three, Wendy's at five. You need two and four, two and four. I want to say Chick-fil-A, but I don't know if being closed on Sundays hurts them. Um, good point. Hmm. Fast food. Fast. Do they consider like Starbucks fast food? So it's funny, in parentheses, Starbucks number two if categorized as fast food. So it's not on the list, but they said if it was part of fast food, it'd be number two, which would push Wendy's out to six. So we're not going to include it. Okay. Uh, Do they consider Dairy Queen fast food? I'm going to say no, because it's not in the top five. Okay. (laughs) Fair. Um, I would say yes, though. If you said is Dairy Queen fast food, I'd say yes. Okay. I guess we'll go with Chick-fil-A. Yes, that's correct. Number four, Chick Fil A. All you need okay. is number two. I guess number two, so, so good, behind but, McDonald's, um, and probably the second biggest worldwide behind McDonald's too. If I had to, if I had to guess, second biggest worldwide. It might be biggest worldwide to be honest. It might be bigger than McDonald's. Well, it can't be if McDonald's is number one. Well, this is U.S. Uh, um, I feel like that should help a lot, and it's not. Think out of the realm of. A greasy place, deep fried. It. Think away from that. The the first thing that came into my head was like Panda Express. No, that's super deep fried. Super delicious, but yeah. So not deep fried. Correct. But it's still your stereotypical food. I wouldn't call it stereotypical like fast food, but it's definitely a fast food place. It's not something you would think of. Oh, let's get fast food. You wouldn't name this place, but it definitely is. Mm. you Dunkin might Donuts. call no you might call some of their employees artists artists because of what they create masterpieces <laughs> for your consumption artist 
Yeah, I'm a blank artist. I work at this place. Maybe you, I'm sure you've heard it. Uh, yeah, probably if it's the fucking most second most popular place. And I'm gonna say number one in the world. <sighs> artist. Yeah, I'm a blank artist. I work here. A con artist. <laughs> no. Have no. I been? Have I been? A thousand one? percent. Yeah, a thousand percent. It's probably one pretty darn close to you. Fuck, dude. I don't. I don't eat fast food. Again, think of it not in the realm of typical fast food. Subway. Yep, that's okay. correct. That's correct. Sandwich sandwich artist. Um, no, nah, I don't think they're they're not bigger. McDonald's is worldwide, so they're they're not bigger than McDonald's worldwide. So is Subway, dude. No, I know, but if no, let me see. Let me see. So I saw. St- I don't know how accurate it still is, but I saw a stat like five, ten years ago that said McDonald's owned the most real estate in the entire. You ready world. for this? Yeah. With forty thousand nine hundred and fifty three locations worldwide, Subway beats McDonald's as the largest global chain. McDonald's currently has thirty seven thousand eight hundred fifty five. So they have okay, almost, so more stores, but not almost more, four thousand more, but not more revenue. Correct. Did I say I? Did I say they? I think I said number one worldwide said, as far as what did I say? Well, the list was for. Revenue, revenue. You said in they the, might in the be US. one, right? In but the you US. said they might be one worldwide, as in revenue worldwide. Now McDonald's got them beat by fourteen billion. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they have four thousand more stores and are still down fourteen billion in sales. Holy shit! Yeah. So they're both bigger in their own respect. There's more Subways, but McDonald's makes more money. Correct. So I would say it's safe to say Subway is the largest fast food chain in the world i think that's, that's a safe, it's subjective safe, i guess it depends on how you largest as in there's more right but so i think yeah I'd, yeah I'd say they're the largest which is crazy to think about yeah i don't know if i like that classification what's uh what's mcdonald's slogan i'm loving it i want to see if you can guess which companies these other slogans are oh fuck okay i'm gonna give you the slogan and you're gonna tell me the company all right i think that's a little easier i'll, I'll take it Okay, so I want you to guess which company these slogans are. Okay. The first one is the happiest place on earth. I mean, isn't it? How do I answer it? Is it uh, Hogwarts? Nope. <laughs> there, I feel like there's going to be so many of these that you're like, oh, fuck, I know it. What is it? Oh, no, it's it's the greatest place on earth. That's what she says at the end of Forbidden Journey. It's yeah. the greatest place on earth. <laughs> Love that ride. Shout out to Universal Studios. Um, <laughs> it's the happiest place on earth. Chuck E. Cheese. Nope. It's the happiest place on earth. It's the happiest place on earth. I just keep saying you it keep like keep saying it in British. <laughs> so stick in the realm of exactly where you just were. That's that's yin. This one's yang. What's yin? Hogwarts? A little more broad than that. Harry Potter. More broad. Well, no, more, more Universal. broad. Universal. There you go. Oh, oh, Disney. Fuck. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> you idiot. There you go. Okay. All right. This one should be pretty easy. It's uh, the greatest place on earth. Okay, go ahead. You keep saying it British. <laughs> well, that one. Will, okay. Next one is there are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's blank. MasterCard. Good job. Bam. The next one is that was easy. Uh, I told you you're going to know all of them, but you're not going to know any of them. It is Staples. Yeah. Nice. They got that easy button. Yeah. Uh-huh. The next one is is it in you? Is that guts? Oh, it's do you have it? <laughs> 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 the same thing, more or less. Is it in you? Do you have it? Yeah. Is it Gatorade? It is Gatorade. Okay. The next one is don't leave home without it. It's I think American Express. It is American Express. Okay. You're doing you're doing good. The next one is let's go places. I fucking know it. Um, I my first thought is a hotel chain. Okay. And then my second thought was an airline. Okay. It's neither of those, correct? It's neither of those. Is it a credit card company? Nope. It is an auto manufacturer. Is it? Toyota. It is Toyota. Fuck. Okay. The the next one is the best a man can get. Gillette. It is Gillette. Yeah. Uh, The next couple are easy. Eating good in the neighborhood. Applebee's. And melts in your mouth, not in your hands. M&M's. And then this one, I'll... I'll be very proud of you if you get it. You gotta think okay. outside the box. Think outside the box a little bit. Okay. It's <laughs> it's yes we can. Obama? <laughs> <laughs> it's the 2008 Obama presidential campaign. <laughs> wow, good job. Is that it? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh shit i'm so you proud know, of you you know what my first thought was when you said yes we can is i pictured randy marsh going i'm sorry i thought this was america <laughs> hey obama <laughs> that was my first thought <laughs> i'm surprised it wasn't bob the builder oh can we fix it no funny because really, obama did the opposite i'm really <laughs> i'm really glad that i got it especially since you prefaced it with i'll be really proud of you yeah guys. I I because I it was on the list for whatever fucking reason because it's not a company and I I always thought it was like something to do with change change <laughs> change change, change? change? can you change <laughs> uh, okay so that's good you got a uh, yes we can you only missed two of them the Disney and well I guess you ultimately got to Toyota uh, ulti- and Disney, yeah I needed but, some hints yeah the Disney one kind of I should have fucking as a Floridian yeah. I should have got that yeah. Yeah. yeah not even a Floridian you're like an hour and a half away from it. I just thought that it would have been... We've just ridden Forbidden Journey too many times. It's the greatest place on Earth. <laughs> yeah. After all. So, that, so, after all. After all. Top three ride at Universal. Yeah, I mean, we could talk about this every time we talk. Yeah. Hagrid's okay. number one. Nah, Velocicoaster's one for me. Mummy's number two. Gloss is four. <sighs> I don't know. My, the top four are just so interchangeable depending on how I'm feeling that day. Yeah, do you want adrenaline or do you want... Just fucking nostalgia. Immersion. And yeah. yeah. Huh. Hagrid has to be it. Hagrid's, well, I feel like immersion is I just, a forbidden journey. I just think the first time, now granted, I spent eight hours to ride it the first time. <laughs> you have a little bit of a... In yeah. the blistering sun in the middle of June or July, whatever it was. But mm-hmm. the, the second, spoiler if you haven't been on that ride in six years since it came out, uh, the second that it... It should be safe. Backed into the cave and then dropped an entire story, I was like, okay, <laughs> sold. Which I, I thought you, like, knew that was cut. Didn't you, like, watch videos of the ride beforehand? Yeah, but I knew that it, like, changed tracks, but I didn't yeah. realize it was you How? physically, the entire car going full. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Fuck the esports world, everyone in it, and every person that wants to ever be a part of it. You should die today, bitch-ass fuckers. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> fuck every one of you esports faggots. I'm leaving that. Oh, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want shitty sushi? Oh, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I had stopped. We're getting very violent with these. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's. And we, <laughs> And we're, we're <laughs> and for no reason whatsoever, we're we're attacking this very. You started this, man. I'm, very, just, I, on, I I'm just along it. for the ride. <laughs> I started with fuck esports kids, not. And I feel I'm, like I want I want to kill you and your family <laughs> and everybody you've ever met in your I life. I feel like each week now I just have to up it and <laughs> you just killing get more you violent. Just yeah. Well, I hope you feel better. Yeah, I think um, getting once I stop drinking fucking kitchen cleaner, I'll be okay. <laughs>